Have you ever walked into a cafe and the owner has offered you something in exchange for your contact details? Neither. And that's why 62% of cafes and restaurants go out of business within the first year and 80% of them go out of business within five years. In this video, I'm gonna break down how to market a cafe. Super simple, easy tips that you can do. And I'm also gonna be going through the automation side of it as well. Stick around if you're a cafe owner wanting to make some more money or you're interested in automating any Thing, really. So in this case study, we're going to be naming our cafe Moogs because that's my nickname and cafes always have weird names. It's a local cafe that sells coffee and small baked goods, has two staff members and a manager, is open from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. and is currently doing everything manually and has a, a desire to make more money. The first thing we're gonna be doing is introducing a customer data collection system. Now this is gonna be very simple. It's just gonna be a QR code that you can scan at the front counter, which will then capture your details in exchange for some kind of offer. Now there are a few parts of this and I'm going to break them down here. We are going to create a very basic funnel, insert the company logo, insert a really basic lead form and have an automation that sets them up as attended or, or some kind of tag that signifies that they came into the cafe. Starting off, we're going to go into Go High Level. I'm going to be using High Level for this entire thing. So if you don't have access to Go High Level, I'm sure you can sign up or let me know and I can give you an affiliate link. I'll make some cash. What we are going to do is create a new funnel. This is just a uh, basic cafe funnel that I'm going to use and it will be super simple. It does not need to be anything complex. All right, we're gonna click add new step. I'm just gonna call this cafe Moogs Path Home and we're not gonna import it from ClickFunnels. Create funnel step. Now, what we're going to do is press create from blank. If you are using any kind of website builder, you can do this as well. It doesn't need to be go high level. You just need to be able to collect information. All right, we're gonna go full width on our um, thingy up here, what's it called? Uh, our rows. And then we're going to insert an image. Uh, I don't know if I've got actually any images on here. Anything, yeah, cool. This is just knock on. <laughs> oh God, um, whatever, you get the idea, I'm not gonna fix that. So this is just the logo of the company. So what you're gonna put in is there. Then you're gonna add in another full width, add a row, one column, and then add element. You're going to add in a form, which we haven't created yet, but we will shortly. So form, you do not have any forms yet, cool. I'm just gonna save that for the time being. That's literally all we're gonna do right now is, is save that funnel. So we inserted the logo, we created the funnel. I'm just gonna bold these once I've done them. Insert a really basic lead form, cool. So what I'm gonna do now is go create a lead form. The reason I like doing this in Go High Level, go high level is because I can create a lead form, I can do all of that in one place. So it's so, super simple for me. But the reason why we are collecting the customer's information, and I probably should have started with this, is that we want to be able to contact them as if they were in the store. So we want to be able to tell them about specials, we want to tell them about opening hours changes, we want to tell them about literally anything that might be relevant to them being a frequent customer of our cafe. Now, one thing that a lot of big companies do really well is they harness text message marketing. Now, a lot of small companies usually don't have access to it because either one, it's too hard for them to set up by themselves or two, they're just not sure how to do it. So what we're doing here is creating a form so we can capture those phone numbers and so we can message people. I'm gonna leave email out for the time being because it's not the most, um, it's not really relevant for, for a cafe right now. So. What we're gonna call, this is just cafe form. And I'm gonna leave it ugly because you can make it look prettier, but ugly is, is good for the time being. Uh, and then on submit, it's just gonna have a message says, thank you. So right now we've got our form. We're gonna go back to our site, go funnels, open up cafe funnel and open this one here. All right, once we have that, we're gonna go into form and we're going to choose cafe form and then save. So something very simple, right? So now that we have a landing page, we're gonna get their information and then just gonna press button. The second thing we are going to need is a QR code. So QR code generator, it's very simple to use one of these. And you are going to QR code generator. You'll be able to find any of the QR code generators don't have to pay for one. There are free ones out there. What you want to do is when you eventually publish this, uh, this landing page, you want to use the link of this landing page as the QR code uh, URL. So you put in the uh, the, QR, uh, the URL to the QR code so that when you can put that on a Canva um, template, then you can have that sitting in front of the register at the cafe. So 
If we think, I'll show you what I mean on Canva, you could have something as simple as just replace these back images with your restaurant and then put the QR code in the middle. And you could say uh, free upsize coffee in exchange for your details or free cookie with just for scanning this QR code or free extra coffee free. For, for this, so that's what you wanna do. Now that you have that, we're gonna have it printed and put at the front of the cafe and you'll be able to go from there. Now, what we are actually going to do with that information. So say for example, I've run this uh, promo for two weeks and I've got 50 names, which would be really good. So what we are then going to do is go into automation in Go High Level and we're going to create a new workflow to then message the people who have uh, exchanged their details. So, so, new cafe return customer. So this is when someone fills out our, so this is when someone fills out our cafe form. So whenever this form is submitted, so we're just gonna add filter here. Form is cafe form, save trigger. We are just going to say, uh, add contact tag, visited cafe, add tag, cool. Save action, something very simple, just, just that, right? So as soon as they fill out the form, they get the tag, right? Now, from that, we are going to go into creating a, a, an outreach message to those people who came into the cafe to, with, within the last two weeks. So we are going to go back into automation. So this is gonna be tag, tag added, um, offer one, add new tag, and add filter, don't even need that. All right, we're gonna put in a conditional statement. So if, if tag, oh sorry, if contact details, and if we scroll down to tags, includes uh, where's that? cafe tag, visited cafe, then proceed, right? So that's gonna be, if that tag is present, then it's gonna go down this left-hand side branch. We are going to send an SMS that says something like this. Moogs Cafe wants to say thanks. Thank you for visiting us recently. We hope you had a Great time. Here's a coupon for 20% off your your next coffee. Show the code 20 off to redeem, right? So what happens here? Redeem, there we go. What happens here is that people get sent a message with an incentive to return. Now that's super, super simple. And that's a super easy way that you can start boosting reoccurring um, visits to your cafe, but it also keeps you front of mind in your prospect, in your prospect, because what you want is when they think I want a coffee, you want to be the first thought that comes into their head that they want to go back and see you. And then for the rest of time, you have access to that database that you can message people at will and send them your offer at the start of the week, at the end of the week, a uh, week in advance. Whenever you need to drive sales, you can send out a message to your clients and get them to come back in. Now, as soon as we've collected our clients' information, we are going to be able to automate reviews being sent to them. Now, the way that we do this is a little bit sneaky, but it is also a really good opportunity to be able to get feedback from clients, but also stack up our Google reviews. And the reason we wanna do that is because when people are thinking of going out to eat, they're going to get a coffee or they're in a new area and they're looking for a place to get one, they're going to look at the reviews first. And it is just human nature that we trust other people's opinions on things to be similar to our own. Because if we were to leave a review, we would do it in the hope that someone else is going to look at it and think that person's like me and looks for the same kind of things. So the more reviews that you have for your business, the better off you're going to be when it comes to being the choice in someone's mind when they are looking for a cafe or a restaurant or any business. So this is how we're gonna do it. We are going to go back to the original workflow that we created when someone fills out our, our exchange form, <laughs> this one over here. So what we do, find it in here. So add tag, fantastic. And we're going to add a next step. So we're going to add a delay. Sorry, we're going to add a wait keep jumping between Xavier and here, I forget which one it is. We're gonna wait one hour until that person has left. And we're gonna save that for the minute and we're going to add a tag and it should be review, review request, request, review request. So now review request is set and we're just gonna save it. It's very simple. So an hour after someone has been to our cafe and it scanned the, for the free thing, which most people will, because people love free things, they will then get sent a message asking for their feedback. 
and I'm going to show you how we do that. All right, so the tag has been added and we are going to get our reviews. So this snapshot from Go High Level, I got from a guy on YouTube called James Bonides. Uh, he is fantastic and I've learned a lot from him. So if you're looking for the snapshot, you can sign up to his free resources and you will get it. And you just have to go on the school website. So if you, I'll, I'll put a link down below to that. Um, he's fantastic. So we're gonna alter this a little bit. So basically what it is gonna be, so request for review. If we have a look review, our one was review requests. So there we go, we saved this trigger. So what it's gonna do, it's already waiting an hour so we can get rid of this hour long wait. Lead action, yes. And then we're gonna remove this. So it's gonna send a request. It's gonna send an SMS. Hey, contact first name, would it be okay if I took you? Um, I'm gonna actually rewrite this because I think Australian vernacular is a little bit different. Uh, hey, first name, um, Moogs Cafe here. Um, <laughs> Moogs from Moogs Cafe here. How was your coffee? How was your coffee? Can you please let us know? It'll take less than 30, 30 seconds to do, and seriously has a huge impact on us. So we're gonna save that, and then it's gonna we're gonna get rid of the email one as well, because we don't need that. Delete, and then we're just gonna have two follow-ups in here. Uh, just bumping this to the top of your phone, and this one, just a reminder again. So the reason we're gonna do this is so that then people will click the link, the trigger link, right? And this trigger link will allow us to track uh, people who have actually selected the link. So if they are um, keen to leave the review, they get directed to another page. So if they click the link, they are then presented with back to workflows. So if they've actually clicked the link, they're going to be presented with this form. Oh no, we don't want to share the form. And this form is fantastic because what it does, it shows only certain things to certain people. So if we open this up here, so this would be customized in your go high level, but how would you rate us? Choose a star rating below. If you select three or below, it'll take you to a, sorry to hear that you're not satisfied, please provide us with feedback and we'll do our best to improve. So name, email, and your feedback, right? This is where you, the anything that wasn't perfect or really good, people can intercept that review and get a chance to make it right. So it'll also stop you from getting more negative reviews on Google. However, if it's a five stars, you get to, you get to review us on Google straight away. Now that link, obviously I just copied it across so it's not gonna work, but you would set that link up to be the direct link to your Google reviews. Now, how do you do that? I will show you. You need to go to, I found it on this website, reviewsonmywebsite.com, free plug. You need to go to this here and select your business. So I'm going to type in um, Kodama is a cafe that I went to once upon a time. We'll just choose a random one, right? We've searched this here. And then if we co copy and paste that, it should come up with a direct link to review the website, review the restaurant. So now we can press five stars and add in that there. So that's how you would do it. That is two really easy ways you can start to market your business. And it's not anything crazy like Facebook ads. It's not spending thousands of dollars on pay-per-click. It is simply just building relationships with your customers. And once you realize that customers are the center of everything you should be doing, that becomes inherently easy. You're just leveraging different technologies in order to foster and nurture and grow that relationship with your customer. Now, if you're looking for someone to implement this into your business, uh, you can follow the link below and I will have a chat to you about how we can make it work for you and some other stuff that we've got going. Uh, if you're interested in learning about these automations, then you can also join my Discord below, which you can get through the free course on automation. And if you get stuck, just leave any questions and comments below and I'll help you out.